Since the beginning of submarine navigation, a large number of ships have sunk, often causing loss of life. Despite the skills of your crew and the reliability of your technologies, your fleet is not safe from these casualties. By means of a high technology training program, a crew can be prepared to face such situations with calm and significantly improve its chance to survive. Maritime Innovation has, in that regard, developed the Canadian Submarine Escape Trainer, better known as CSET. The main concept of the simulator is based on an unpressurized bell equipped with a tower reproducing the actual submarine escape compartment. The bell is vertically moved into the water column, aided by mechanical systems. A control station entirely runs the simulator from the surface. The CSET design is based on internationally recognized standards such as the Pressure Vessel for Human Occupancy Standard from ASME. Originally, the CSET was developed to answer the training needs of Canadian submariners in submarine emergency escape. Integrated to the Sea Survival Course offered by the Institut Maritime du Québec in Rimouski to the Canadian submariners, the training on board the CSET is the keystone of this two-day training program. With a capacity of up to five submariners and one instructor, the simulator is entered from the escape tower. The trainee is allowed to familiarize with the various systems accurately reproducing the actual layout of the submarine escape compartments found on the Canadian Victoria-class submarines. After shutting the upper hatch, the simulator dives to a training depth of 8 meters as specified by the Canadian protocol. Once this depth reached, each submariner proceeds with the tower's preparation sequences as if he were the last man to leave the vessel. Number nine, open the lower lid. Yes, sir. Lower lid open. Checking for valve sequence. Upper hatch opening gear to idle. Drain valve shut. Upper hatch operating gear to idle. Flood valve shut. Upper ranch operating gear to idle. Vent valve open. Upper ranch operating gear to idle. Ready to proceed, sir. Go to position one. Position one. Nose clip on. Tap down. Position one. Number nine, enter the tower. Entering the tower. After all the Entering devices the have been positioned into the escape ready position and that all relevant verifications have been carried out, the submariner enters the escape tower. Following his entry, the lower lid is shipped. The trainee then fastens his training harness activates the inflator valve of his MK-10 suit and begins flooding the tower. When the flooding of the tower begins, the safety diver attentively watches the submariner in order to detect any behavioral or procedural problem. He can always stop the flooding if necessary. When the level of water is at its maximum, he opens the lid. The trainee is therefore released from the tower and stops near the diver held down by his harness. Yeah. At the sight of air bubbles coming up, the surface team awaits the trainee and gets ready to respond quickly in case of an emergency. The diver communicates the trainee's condition and informs of his imminent arrival to the chief instructor on surface. Roger, coming up. Upon the chief instructor's orders, the diver then unfastens the submariner's harness was sent to the surface where a safety swimmer awaits his arrival. Yeah, I thought the training was, uh, was excellent. Um, the, the tower is exactly the same as what we use on the submarine. And uh, being under pressure and deep with the water and pressure eyes and all that kind of stuff is, is really excellent, I thought. Very accurate.
Safety prevails on board the CSET. The entire environment is controlled from the surface by an instructor who has access to various view shots and to an audio contact with the vestibule, the escape tower and the safety diver. At any time, thanks to this efficient system, the persons in charge of the operations can follow the sequence of events. The redundancy of the hydraulic, pneumatic and electrical systems guarantees a maximum safety. Moreover, the emergency procedures have led to the optimization of the equipments in order to give maximum safety to the occupants of the CSET. The training system and the technology of the simulator makes it extremely safe and as long as you have the right people around, it's uh, one of the safest training platforms that I've ever seen for a submarine escape. The mobility of the equipment allows it to be transported to various sites. It is also flexible and therefore can be used in various types of environment such as jetties, wharfs or in dedicated facilities. The training depth can also be adjusted according to the user's requirements. To date, the CSET is the most complete and realistic training tool to prepare submariners to react appropriately in case of an emergency. In such event, the crew's confidence in the equipment and procedures, the quick operation and accurate maneuvers are determining factors for its survival. The trainee's interaction with the simulator gives him the opportunity to adequately learn the critical sequences for his and his peers' rescue. Thanks to the monitoring and the equipment layout, the supervision team can correct the maneuvers as they are carried out. The escape tower is an exact replica of the actual escape compartment found on a submarine. This will add to the submariner's assurance when actually executing the emergency procedures at sea. And again, what was very pleasing is when maritime innovation, as we made changes to, say, our systems or our valve sequence or our items, innovation would always uh, immediately impl implement new equipment or technology to make it more realistic for us, but the way we ask and not a set standard. And that uh, allows us to amend this training each and every week and month and year as it goes on. The platform on which the CSET was developed gives it the unique property to be modified in order to reproduce with accuracy the different escape towers and systems found on submarines, such as the dual escape tower, for example. For its realistic training and its great capabilities to adapt to various mobility and exercising needs, the Canadian submarine escape trainer developed by maritime innovation is consistent with today's military requirements. The safety offered by this training platform is based on the redundancy of the systems, the total environment control while maneuvering and the integration of proven emergency procedures. Technological advancements achieved in the scope of the development of the CSET allow to extend the trainee's ability to react adequately in an emergency situation. With the practical experience and the confidence gained, this training program is a real success.